come behind the scenes with me as I show you how I made this Wario rhinestone makeup look. First, I needed to make all of the pieces. So I started off with the overalls. I put the black piece on the back of that to be able to clip something on it to weigh it down because when you put the rhinestones on the front, it weighs down the front of it. And then those were the little buttons. Here's the hat that I made. It was different than the Waluigi hat. I feel like I did the Waluigi hat pretty easily and I've struggled with this one, but I also ran out of paper in the back. So I had to add black, but nobody was going to see it. So it was fine. Well, this looks like crap, but I do pull it together at the end. And here's a comparison with the Waluigi hat. You can see it's bigger, it's taller. The bill on the front of it is longer, which made it easier to get it how I wanted it to look. The Wario hat was so much harder because it was smaller. Next, I had to make a different nose prosthetic for Wario than I did for Waluigi because Waluigi's was longer and pointier and Wario's is shorter and like chubbier and rounder. Once I have that in the shape I want it, I started adding liquid latex and I did several coats of this and then it's time to start bedazzling everything. So here's the progression of the hat in the stages that I bedazzled it. I finished at 2.36 a.m. with the hat and I was so exhausted that I was quitting for the night, but this is what the hat looks like. It's the next day, it's 12.21 p.m. and I'm getting started on the overhauls. This is gonna take forever because this is a huge piece. And here's the progression of me bedazzling that. Yesterday, it took me 10 hours to create all of the pieces and bedazzle the hat. The overalls took me so long. Now I'm going to powder the prosthetic so that it's easier to take off and it doesn't stick to itself. This is what it looks like off of it. I do put it on my face and trim it up a little bit and then I paint it and start bedazzling it. I bedazzled this now so that it saves me time on the day when I'm applying everything to my face. And then the last piece is the mustache. Here's both pieces done. Today I'm clocking out at 11, 11 p.m. which puts me in at a little over 13 hours for the day. Okay, it's Monday, March 21st and it's 1 30 p.m and i've actually been working on this for an hour because i had to also film my pre-take talks and i forgot to start this before then but anyway we're starting with the brows it's 2 56 and i have the eyebrows and the eyes done and this is all i'm going to do with the forehead because the hat will hide the rest but then now it's going to be time to start applying some prosthetic pieces okay so i got the nose on I got the mustache on and I have filled this in right here. Now I'm going to have to add some scar wax around here to make this look more raised. Stay tuned. I really struggled with the chin piece because for some reason today it did not want to adhere to my skin. I finally finished at 7.18 p.m. which gives me 31 hours on this look. Love you all. Bye.